Battling COVID-19 is an unprecedented global challenge. To get communities around the world back up and running as quickly and safely as possible, public health authorities are building smartphone apps to help with contact tracing. Contact tracing is one of the best ways to stop a virus from spreading. It can take thousands of disease investigators to alert everyone who's been in contact with people who've tested positive. But even if disease investigators do their jobs perfectly, alerting the people a COVID patient doesn't know or can't remember is incredibly difficult. Smartphone apps that public health authorities build can help people at risk of infection get notified much more quickly. But a contact tracing app works best when more people download it. And being asked to download an app without knowing how it will handle your personal information might cause people to worry about their privacy, and they may not feel safe participating. That's why engineers at Apple and Google have been working together to make public health technology that protects individual privacy so that people never have to choose between their privacy and the health and safety of their community. You're probably wondering what that means and how that all works, and we're going to walk you through it in a second, but first let's be really clear about a couple things. First, apps using this system cannot track your location. And second, this system does not share your identity with Google, Apple, or other users. Here's how that works. For every phone that's opted in, our technology disguises your identity by generating a random sequence of numbers that change every few minutes. Then, using Bluetooth, anytime your phone detects another phone close by that's also opted in, the two exchange those random numbers. If in the future someone's positive for COVID-19, they can report that positive result in their app. Any phones that had exchanged random numbers in the last 14 days will receive a notification that they may have been exposed to COVID-19 without revealing their identity. Public health authorities can then help anyone at risk get testing and treatment. But it's up to all of us to help with contact tracing. Do your part and look for your public health authority app that uses this exposure notifications system. The more people who participate, the sooner we can beat COVID-19 and get our communities back on their feet.